Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanHunter.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the gesture settings on your Huawei Mate S. Uh, gesture setting is called as motion controller in Huawei Mate S. So let me show you how to use all of the features and functionality which comes under the motion control on your Huawei Mate S. So here is our device. First of all, just go to the settings and look for the motion control option here which you will find under smart assistance as you can see here just tap on it and on the next page you will find lots of options so let's start from the beginning the first one is flip to mute if you go there you will find that uh, the function of this op option is that it will mute the sound and vibration if there is an incoming call alarm if you flip the phone downside so you can see there are two options whether you want to mute incoming calls or and you want to mute timers and alarms as well so it's totally up to you you can just turn it on like this and from the next time when a call is coming or when alarm is ringing all you have to do you have to just take your phone and flip it like this and the phone will stop ringing so this is one of the setting then there is the second option called pickup if you go to the pickup option you can see that pick up the phone to reduce the ring volume of incoming calls alarms and timers that means if you are if your phone is ringing and uh, if you take your phone and just pick it up from the desk then automatically the sound the ringer will reduce the sound and uh, then you can answer the call so this feature is once again available for incoming call and for timers and alarms once again it's available for both of these two types of ringers so it's a pretty nice feature you can just uh, put your phone on the desk and when it's ringing take your phone up pick your phone up and uh, the sound will be reduced and it will not annoy people around you and the third one is going to be raised to ear this is a pretty common and old feature actually that if there is phone coming or if you are in the phone book looking for a contact so if you just uh, bring the phone uh, close to your ear um, if there is a phone coming then it will answer the call and if you are in the phone book on a contact particular contact then it will make call to that contact person you can see here it's written when a call comes in raise your phone to ear to answer it similarly from the call or contact details screen raise your phone to ear to call the corresponding number also when you are making a call in speaker mode or using a bluetooth headset raise the phone to your ear to switch to earpiece mode so there are three options one is to answer the call another one is to make the call and the third one is to use the smart speaker and if you are using a bluetooth then a smart bluetooth headset that is already activated because i was using this feature <laughs> with my bluetooth headset and the fourth one is going to be shake to rearrange so this is actually about uh, editing your home screen for example if you are moving few application from here to there or deleting few of them so maybe there is some empty space or they are not aligned properly so when that option is um, activated if you just shake the home screen it will all of the applications and icons they will align properly after shaking your phone so this is a nice feature as well then there is an option which is pretty much similar to the first option that's shake to rearrange that's tilt if you tilt your phone like this it will move all the icons and widget you can see here just tap on it and select and after that just tilt the phone and then the icons will move to the next screen in which direction you are moving so it's a very nice gesture application as well then if you scroll down you will find the knuckle gestures and under the knuckle gesture there are two options three options actually the first one is smart screenshot and screen recording if you have seen our previous video in which we have posted the methods to screenshot we have explained this in detail uh, what exactly it does that uh, if this option is already activated you can take a screenshot on your Huawei Mate S on any screen by using your knuckle like this so you can see that a screenshot is taken just using my knuckle on the screen and moving my knuckle in any shape and if you have a look on the top you can see that there are four options for example i have captured this screenshot now i can shape it like a heart 
or and circular shape or rectangular shape or the random one so it's a very nice feature of taking a screenshot on your wave images under the motion control and you can also activate the screen recording our wave images comes with pre-installed screen recorder which let you take a, a recording of your screen whatever you are doing and you can activate it using a knuckle gesture as well here and if you go down there is an option called draw which let you draw later to open application so this is a pretty old feature as well but it's still nice to have in on your Huawei meters Huawei meters what you have to do is just go there and after activating it from draw section you have to look at this option called draw action and here you will find that what letter you will write on the screen then what action it will happen for example if you draw the letter c the camera will be open for letter e it's browser for m music w weather and you can even customize this option for example instead of camera if you want to have uh, anything else so just tap on it and then you can select here all of the applications pre-installed and downloaded available here you can select any of them and then you can use it in the draw application so let me show you how to do this right now for example my phone is off and I will just draw C using my knuckle and the camera is open as you can see it detected what I had written on the screen and it opened the camera also if you are on the uh, starter screen for example and even if you will use your knuckle to write C the camera application will be open like this once again so this is a very nice feature as well of Huawei Matis under motion control and there is double tap to open the screen which is very old feature on you will find in most of the smartphones so I'm not going to give the demo of it so these are the gesture settings under the motion control available on your Huawei Matis which you can use to increase your productivity so thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos tips and tricks and hands on reviews like this have a nice day